From your pre-university studies, you'll know a lot about enthalpy change delta H, but maybe not so much about the internal energy change delta U. The internal energy U of a chemical system is a measure of all the kinetic and potential energy that its molecules possess. Whether it's translational energy, rotational, vibrational, electronic energy, or whatever. Now obviously it's impossible to add up all these forms of energy for all the molecules. So you can't measure internal energy directly, just as you can't measure enthalpy directly. But what you can measure is the internal energy change, delta U. Just as you can measure the enthalpy change, delta H. When a system's internal energy changes, it exchanges the corresponding amount of energy with its surroundings. And this energy appears in the surroundings as heat, symbol Q, or work, symbol W. The heat changes the temperature of the surroundings, and the work results from the expansion or contraction of gases. So, if you measure Q and W in the surroundings, you can find out the change in the internal energy in the system, because the change in internal energy is Q plus W. You can think of it as a way of looking into the system while still standing outside it. If the system is in a closed container at constant volume, the gases cannot expand or contract, so W is zero. And the energy all appears as heat, Q, which is easy to measure. This gives us a good way of measuring delta U using the bomb calorimeter, which is described in section 13.6.